so um living with a chemical imbalance in your brain a lot of people have it and i think everyone does some day, some days you're just not right or you don't feel good but when you have a diagnosed condition with chemicals that are very difficult um there's medicines that help but they, there's no cure for it so if you do get this don't expect to be perfect even if you take your medication it's not going to happen most likely you'll be better you know it, that's the idea is to get you well enough to function um, but the cure is just not we don't have it no one has it um, so I was labeled bipolar one and um, I had some depression and I thought that if I took my medicine, well, I was pregnant and giving birth to my daughter, I thought, I don't want to lose it, the baby. I'm going to go ahead and do what the doctor says and at least play their game. And then it ended up that the medicine helps some, but it doesn't, it, you will still have some symptoms, you know, and sometimes you'll need medicine change. Sometimes they prescribe the wrong medicine in trying to get your symptoms better and it doesn't help. It might even make it worse. It is, it's, it's really tough to have a chemical imbalance in your brain, but it's better than it used to be. Beethoven had bipolar, but there was no medicine, and so he was an alcoholic. Nobody liked him. He was not nice, because alcoholics are usually not nice. But he, and Edgar Allan Poe, I think, he, he did some drugs and alcohol, at least for depression, if not bipolar, too. So, um, I, don't, I don't like drugs or alcohol or alcohol for that reason. Um, I go for long walks, or if I'm really depressed, I just stay in bed and watch movies. And I, you know, because it's cycled, you know, you may get so, like you wanna kill yourself and life is, but when you've been through it a few times, you're just like, oh, eh, this is terrible, but it'll be better in a few days if you have bipolar. Not necessarily a depressive illness, because that might stay a long, long, long time, but when it's cyclic, like bipolar, it's just maybe a week over a little over a week or even just four days and then you you that's with medication sometimes um but you know for me the medication's keeping me out of the hospital and I've managed to keep a job um part-time so you know I, I would recommend working with the doctor and trying the medication anyway and not expecting it to, to happen too too fast some some people's do but others, it just takes a lot of trial and error to see what will happen. What, because there's just no, there's no blood test that we can measure your chemicals of your brain. And it's, that's just the facts. Hopefully in the future, maybe we will.